Danielle Laporte, The Firestarter Sessions, A Soulful Plus Practical Guide to Creating Success on Your Own Terms. Prepare to spark your inner fire with The Firestarter Sessions by Danielle Laporte, A Guide to Creating Success on Your Own Terms. This book summary explores the process of discovering your true talents and transforming them into a fulfilling and successful career. Simplify your life by choosing the easy route and replace typical goal-setting techniques with an approach based on your core emotions. Discover your time personality, cultivate your inner muse, and nurture the relationships that matter most. All of these elements will help you create a life filled with enthusiasm and purpose. Finding Your Spark Discover your true talent and reignite your passion at work by focusing on your strengths. Do you feel drained at work, limping through your everyday life? Don't despair, there are ways to reignite your passion. Start by discovering what lights you up, as this is usually where your true strengths lie. Michael Jordan is an excellent example of this concept, he excelled in basketball, but failed miserably when he played professional baseball because it wasn't his main talent or something he particularly enjoyed. To discover your true talent, think of activities that you absolutely enjoy and make you feel comfortable. Write these down, and ask your closest friend for guidance if needed. You will end up with a long list of things you're good at, but to achieve success, start choosing your battles instead of trying to be good at everything. For instance, if you're good at cooking but always feel stressed when preparing meals, it's more likely that you're not meant to be a professional cook. Instead of wasting resources on activities that don't come naturally to you, focus on cultivating a different set of skills that feel right. Remember, reinventing yourself means picking fights that showcase your true talent and reignite your fire. The Myth of Endurance Many of us believe that we have to work tirelessly to meet the expectations of others, but this is the myth of endurance that keeps us from living a self-compassionate life. The truth is that choosing an easy and efficient route in life is more effective. This does not mean taking the cheap easy route but rather identifying your best assets and interests. This easy route should be one that fills you with enthusiasm and involves bright faith in your abilities. Enthusiasm means finding a deep enjoyment in what you do, and this requires being fully present and carefully choosing your projects. With bright faith, you are confident that you are on the right track and not wasting time on unimportant tasks. To discover your easy route, start by examining your to-do list and identifying what you are good at and what inspires you. Feeling good the key to a successful and fulfilling life is not just in having goals but also knowing how you want to feel. Danielle Laporte's book, The Desire Map, argues that prioritizing your emotions over results can make goal setting more effective and enjoyable. Having specific emotions to aim for can guide daily decision making and keep you aligned with what matters most. Instead of simply chasing external possessions or accomplishments, focusing on feeling good in the present moment can lead to long-term contentment and success. The book also tackles common roadblocks such as guilt and self-judgment, and offers practical tips for staying on track. By flipping traditional goal-setting on its head, readers can uncover a new path to happiness and fulfillment. Mastering the Art of Cocktail Lines When someone asks us, what do you do, at a party, we often feel a sense of dread and discomfort. Having a good answer not only boosts our confidence but also helps our business. The key to a great cocktail line is to be genuine and positive, no matter what your profession. By conveying enthusiasm and focusing on what makes your job exciting and impactful, you can leave a lasting impression. Use simple questions to discover what aspects of your work make you feel powerful, passionate, and free, and how it makes a difference in people's lives. Ultimately, mastering the art of cocktail lines is about expressing yourself confidently and authentically, leaving your audience impressed and inspired. Learning from your mistakes. Dwelling on the past doesn't help, but learning from your failures does. Rather than being negative and stuck, find a way to move on by purging the past and opening up to new dreams. It's easy to get trapped in negative thinking when we focus too much on our failures, defeats, and breakups. However, dwelling on the past only limits our ability to envision a positive future. 
Instead, we can learn from our mistakes by reflecting on them and writing them down. This allows us to purge ourselves of negative ruminations and move on. It's important to bury old beliefs, feelings, and dreams that are no longer useful to us. By doing so, we create space for new ideas and dreams that can take us in a positive direction. To begin, write your dream list and visualize success and the results as if you've already accomplished your dream. It's essential to focus on the feeling you would have if you were living the dream. By doing this, we can expand our perspective and find ways to achieve our new dreams beyond what we originally thought possible. Learning from our mistakes is crucial to personal growth, so let us not dwell on our past mistakes but find ways to learn from them and grow. Overcoming Fear and Handling Criticism This book summary provides practical tips on handling fear and criticism. It emphasizes the importance of positive emotions and gives advice on how to coach your emotions like a team coach. The author emphasizes that one should not let fear take over and instead relegate it to the bench. The summary also offers a framework for dealing with criticism constructively. The approach involves taking a breather, acknowledging the hurt, refraining from immediate reactions, and not tolerating any nonsense. The author shares a personal experience where standing up to a boss led to career advancement. The book summary is a guide for anyone who wants to overcome their fears and be confident in handling criticism. Trusting your gut in dealing with people. When it comes to dealing with people, first impressions matter, and we should trust our gut instinct to distinguish between the good and the bad. This is an idea summarized by an old Buddhist saying, as in the beginning, so in the middle, so in the end. Author Danielle Laporte shares her personal experiences of hiring a consultant who repeatedly stood her up and getting tangled in a messy contract with TV producers. In both cases, she initially ignored her intuition and paid a hefty price for it. Sometimes, we also need to know when to walk away and not blindly stick to our principles, which can cause us to lose our inner peace and waste time and money. Laporte's lawyer advised her to get on with her life, as fighting over principles for long stretches of time can ruin one's health, finances, and relationships. The author emphasizes that to deal with people well, one must learn to trust their intuition, make a wise judgment and know when to walk away. Embrace your inner muse. Learn how to unleash your creativity by paying close attention to your inner muse and sharpening your brand. Do you ever hear a voice inside of you, a voice that speaks to your creativity? You're not alone. Everyone has an inner muse, and once you start listening to it, your creativity will flow. Richard Bach, for instance, has a name for his muse, the Idea Fairy. He listens to her when he's enjoying his favorite activities, such as gardening or flying his plane. You can do the same. Pay attention to when and where your muse strikes the most and recreate the optimal working conditions to boost your creativity. Sharpening your brand is another way of helping your inner muse thrive. It means making your key attributes clear, focusing on what is essential to your success. Say you're a carpenter without a clear sense of purpose. If you look closely at what drives you, you might discover that you're passionate about making people feel comfortable in their homes. By sharpening the purpose behind your brand, you can revitalize your muse and boost your creativity. And, as a bonus, new clients will start pouring in. If you're unsure about your inner muse or brand, don't worry. Just interview a close friend and ask them what they think is your greatest strength, what is your life's purpose, and when have they seen you really shine. By embracing your inner muse and sharpening your brand, your creativity will reach new heights. Master Time Management Without a System Stop enslaving yourself with time management systems and start working on your time personality. By understanding your time personality, you can become a better time manager without feeling stressed or rebelling against your system. If you're struggling with finding a time management system that works for you, you're not alone. Many people struggle with time management systems because although they can be helpful, they can also enslave us. Approaching time management like an overly strict diet can leave us feeling worse than before. The key is to understand our time personality and learn how to change it. There are two common time personalities, the time cop and the time slacker. 
The time cop is always on time but can feel stressed. The time slacker is often late and can be a nuisance to others. By identifying which personality you exhibit, you can learn to balance your strengths and weaknesses. For example, if you're a time cop, adding periods of free time to unwind or eliminating unimportant appointments can help you reduce stress. Don't let time management systems control you. Learn to master your time personality and become a better time manager without feeling enslaved to a system. Finding your true purpose with money. Discovering one's life purpose helps to prioritize their financial goals. In this light, the amount of wealth one desires depends on their specific purpose, which could be a home, a car, a holiday, among others. One way to find the purpose is by scrutinizing past, present, and future spending habits. Knowing this purpose facilitates a clear creation of financial goals, which in turn helps in making fulfilling choices. While money is vital, it is not always about charging exorbitant amounts for products or services rendered. The anecdote of a friend who took a pay cut to maintain her integrity illustrates how money should enable individuals to attain their desired end state, and not the source of fulfillment itself. In summary, by identifying your values and what matters most to you, you can create a roadmap towards achieving your financial objectives and ultimately, your desired life. The importance of finding your tribe and strengthening relationships. The author emphasizes the significance of having a tribe, a group of people who share similar beliefs and values, and illustrates how this realization led her to work and surround herself with happy, trusting individuals. To find your tribe, identify individuals who inspire you and share similar beliefs as you do. Additionally, to cultivate strong personal relationships generously giving and showing small acts of kindness can help foster deeper connections. The author suggests bringing unexpected gifts or buying the next round of drinks next time you're out with friends to strengthen relationships. However, while your tribe and personal relationships are essential, it's important to strike a balance between the two. In summary, the Firestarter Sessions provides an inspiring roadmap to creating a life of vibrant success. To do so, focus on discovering your true talents, selecting the easy path, and cultivating essential emotions that will drive your actions. Along the journey, sharpen your brand, build meaningful relationships, and improve your time management skills. With these insights in hand, you'll be ready to embrace a life that is tailor-made for your unique strengths, dreams, and passions, all on your terms.